What time is it? The current time is 11.34 a.m. Start my first activity. Do you want to start your first activity? Yes. Start the monitoring activity, wake up activity. What is the HAB power usage? The HAB is drawn 121.0 volts and 13.0 amps. Tell me when the HAB amps exceed 13. The HAB amps are already above 13.0. The level is currently 14.0 amps. Tell me when the HAB amps exceed 14. I have received your request to notify HAP when the HAP amps go above 14.0. What was the maximum HAB amps today? The maximum current for the specified time period was 24.0 amps. Okay, so we had an average of 15 and we had a peak of 24, so roughly a 2 to 1 ratio in loads. What was the maximum generator amps today? The maximum current for the specified time period was 19.0 amps. 19.0. What was the maximum battery amps today? The maximum current for the specified time period was 150.0 amps. 150 amps. When did the generator come online? The generator was last brought online at 11.16. Okay. What was the battery voltage at 11 a.m.? The voltage at 11.0 was 24.0 volts. Record voice note. Do you want to record a voice note? Yes. Please begin recording voice note now. Bill, we are going to shut down the generator for cool down and refueling. Receive new voicemail from Rick. Um, please minimize HAB loads. And uh, we are fully charged on the batteries. Take a voice note for Rick. What is the habitat power usage? The hab is drawing 121.0 volts and 17.0 amps. Are the batteries charging? No, the batteries are not charging. Tell everyone when the generator comes online. Problem cleared. The inverter is now operating above below battery cutoff voltage. Battery voltage level is 25.0. All right. All right cool. So, so Rick, everything seems to be back to normal. Good. Yeah. Well, let's uh, check uh, what the inverter says. So. Wake up. I am waking up. Acknowledge. Yes, Bill. I am listening. Do you think that Hal was wrong to not open the shuttle bay doors? Well, future work. In 2006, the Mars Society's MDRS Habitat received power from a diesel generator and a solar panel, 
An inverter charged the backup batteries and converted the power to AC. The one meter system logged volts and amps on 10 channels. Voice commanding allows access to historical data as well as setting alerts and sending voice notes to crewmates. The mobile agent system is running on six laptop computers. Five are on a lower deck table. The Habitat Power Support System processes all inquiries, and laptops for four crew members connect to their Bluetooth headsets anywhere in the HAB. The six laptop, the Habitat Command System on the upper deck, uses a built-in microphone and loudspeakers. Plus, it displays troubleshooting procedures to the crew. As an example of operation, one meter telenets data via a Brahms communication agent written in Java, which forwards data to the power monitoring agent. A crew member's voice command is recognized by Realist and relayed as a structured object to the crew member's personal agent, which is running on one of the laptops on the lower deck. The personal agent sends the inquiry or alert request to the power monitoring agent, which is running on another Brahms virtual machine. This agent then sends a response or confirmation to the personal agent, which relays text back to Realist to be transmitted on the crew member's Bluetooth headset. This method of agent-based systems integration has been used to integrate data and control of robots, cameras, GPS devices, biosensors, databases, email, and many other hardware and software systems during Mars mission simulations. Please see bill.clancy.name on the internet for more information.